Hey, Griddle Nation, I am CJ, your Blackstone bartender. Now, a world-class cocktail doesn't always have to have tons of steps and ingredients. Today, I'm gonna show you a crowd-pleasing caramelized peach and bourbon cocktail that you are gonna love to have in your arsenal. And the best part is we're doing it on the griddle top. Let's do this. The first thing we're gonna do is prepare our thyme simple syrup. There's two ways you can make this. One way uses heat, which is awesome and easy to do. The other way, which we're gonna use today, is by shaking or agitating our ingredients to incorporate the flavor of the herbs and dissolve the sugar. It's simple and takes way less time than heating up our ingredients. Shaking these together dissolves the sugar as well as releasing the aroma and the oils of the fresh thyme in the simple syrup. Shake for about 20 to 30 seconds or until you see the sugar has completely dissolved. Now we're gonna set one side of our griddle to high heat. So normally I'd be using a peach, but due to the season we're in, I'm gonna be using a yellow nectarine. These are very similar in nature. They're gonna both perform really well on our griddle top. Now it's time to slice our nectarines and get them ready for the griddle top. Before we throw our nectarines on the griddle top, we're gonna to add a very thin layer of vegetable oil to our griddle top with a paper towel. This is gonna help with the caramelization and getting that toasty, crispy sugar on our peaches, or in this case, our nectarines. Now place the nectarines on the griddle and cook for about 90 seconds or until they are caramelized and golden. And don't worry about the heat, my friends. You want to caramelize these as quickly as possible so the outside gets toasty before the inside gets too soft. Once we have the nectarines beautifully toasted, we're gonna pull them off and start assembling our cocktail. Now for this, you're gonna need a glass, muddle, and a cocktail shaker. To the cocktail shaker, add two of your nectarines, and using your muddle, we'll push and turn five to six times. Muddling helps to release all the flavors of the nectarine, which is gonna make our cocktail super flavorful. After that, add some ice, two ounces of the thyme simple syrup, and two ounces of our bourbon. Then give your cocktail shaker a heavy, heavy shake. Then we're gonna grab our highball glass, add some ice, and strain the cocktail. Top it off with some ginger ale and garnish with a griddled peach slice and some fresh thyme. And just like that, you became a Blackstone bartender. A few simple, fun, and fresh ingredients and a really cool process, and you can make yourself a seriously fun and tasty cocktail. As always, please be sure to leave some comments down below of cocktails you'd like to see in future videos. Also, be sure to post any photos of stuff that you guys are creating at home. For this recipe and more, please be sure to visit blackstoneproducts.com. I'm CJ, your Blackstone bartender, and until the next video, Cheers. Oh,